What is up, Eclipse Dawn? I'm here with another tarot reading, and it's December time, but this reading can be for any time that anyone comes across it. It's specifically for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, but it could be for anyone that's interested in Aquarius energy or person. I only ask one thing, which is that you come in the name of love, the most benevolent love, in the name of the greater good of all beings, all people, all animals, all planets, etc. So here we are with another reading. I have shuffled the cards, Aquarius, quite thoroughly. And I'm already feeling your energy as I've been thinking and kind of pacing around. I'm really funny when it comes to doing these readings. It takes me a while to get into it. Um, it's almost comical how the preparation process goes. <laughs> but it's because I have to do my ritual with myself to kind of get into the zone of doing this type of work. And so everyone has that kind of process. It's just, mine's funny. Like one of the things is I like having my hot coffee if it's at a certain time of the day. I'm gonna have my water here, cheers. Um, but I also have my coffee and I like it to be hot. But then if I'm doing a bunch of other things, I could like pour the coffee and then forget because I have to do A, B, and C, and then my coffee's not hot anymore, so I have to go back and make my coffee hot, and it can go on like that. So I was just thinking about this for you, Aquarius, for some reason. Um, it's like a metaphor, you know? It's like you want to do this thing, and you need a certain condition, but every time you, like, go to make the condition, you are doing something else. So by the time you come back to doing the thing, uh, the condition's not there anymore. Something like that. It's like every time you go back to your coffee, it's cooled off again, right? <laughs> and if you're a parent, I think you can relate. Um, so I'm going to shuffle a little bit more with these tiny cards. And I'm just going to go simple this time around. We just went through a solar eclipse on the 4th in Sagittarius. Um, Venus is in Capricorn right now. Of course, Uranus is in Taurus still. The North and South Node are Sagittarius South Node, Gemini North Node. Pluto's doing something funny too. I haven't been paying attention to the planets as much as I normally do. <clears throat> all I can say is it's been intense okay like always very few times when the planets aren't doing something intense <laughs> have you noticed that <laughs> it's up with that so I'm going to do a read where I'm just going to do three cards for you and three cards for the other and the other can be the other person or just the outside energies, etc. Okay. On the bottom of the deck right now is the magician in reverse. So I'm going to take that into account, but I'm not going to call that the first card. <clears throat> it was just there when I set the deck down. So, three cards for you, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or anyone who loves Aquarius, I just need, ask that you come in the name of the most benevolent love, the most compassionate love. I ask God for protection. Surround us with love and light. Thank you. Amen. Come on, Aquarius, three cards for you, 
three cards for them, and then we'll clarify. Sometimes it takes a while. Okay, that's two cards. I'm taking them. One more. Hmm. Okay. We have the Four of Rods, the Chariot in Reverse, and the Three of Pentacles in Reverse for you, Aquarius. And for them, or the other, could be an energy, entity, person, co-worker, lover, best friend, parent, sibling, child, the other. Oops. Okay. Death in reverse, the fool. Page of rods. And the seven of swords came out with it, so I'm going to take it. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, there's the star card, which is your card, Aquarius. So I have a feeling that you are going through a change again. I have a feeling that you're coming into a new understanding of yourself again. And I say again because I think this isn't the first time you've awoken to your energy. But when you do, it always surprises you because it's more than you think. You're the star. And, and we tend to get distracted by others and wanting to be right and wanting to know the truth and wanting to live in truth that we forget that we are the truth. We are the star and, and we have to keep remembering, re-realizing, re-realizing. Knight of Rods on the bottom, fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, someone who, or something that is either really um, irrational or very emotionally dull. Um, it could be fiery, like misplaced anger and destructive behavior, self-sabotage or sabotage in general, over reactions and um, adultery even, or, you know, cheating energy, but lies, right? Um, that kind of emotional witchcraft. Um, or it could be someone who's just flunked out as a, at flight, as flight boss would say, um, Archangel Uriel. Uh, someone who's just lost their luster, so to say. So that's there, okay? But let's go back to your three cards. Four of Rods by itself is almost a marriage, a union, a healthy relationship, a healthy balance of all four corners. It represents um, a kind of honoring of a union. It always reminds me of that saying of a relationship, a healthy relationship is where you stand close to each other but with enough room to let the sacred winds blow between you. Every fire needs oxygen, otherwise it's smothered out, right? But it's here with the chariot in reverse and the three of pentacles in reverse. So just looking at my nails like, oh my God, right. <laughs> so I hear my kids coming in. <laughs> it's okay. 
So um, the chariot in reverse with the three of pentacles in reverse. That's enough. Lay down. Go lay down. No, go lay down. Yeah, it's a good girl. Lay down. It's okay. Shh. That's enough. Your union, your um, quote-unquote marriage with this other entity is being put to a halt. Something has stopped. Something isn't flowing anymore or it has become stagnant. Okay, it doesn't have any purpose anymore, it seems like. If there's something where it's not moving forward, maybe one of your tires is flat, you know, it could be minor, but since it's a major arcana, it's kind of like, it's just, someone's, you know, you're not going with it anymore. You're not, it, and especially with the three of pentacles next to it, whatever you were working with here with something or someone, this other, you're not wanting to move forward. It, it's, there's an energy that's keeping you from moving forward and no longer investing your time energy and body energy and money energy or any of those energies that are material in the material world it, it's like this this thing you are working together on or with um it's slowing down if not completely at a halt it it's not going in the direction that you're going especially with the star card you're not you're waking up to something and it has something to do with not going in a certain direction okay you're going in the opposite direction inside you're waking up to yourself and this thing that was once worth working on or with or for doesn't mean that it's valueless, but at this point, it doesn't have the same value for you. It's it's something went in another direction or just completely stopped. Now, for the other, we have the death reverse. So this entity, energy, or person is having a hard time with this, letting it go. They're not wanting this death to go on or they're avoiding a certain ego death there's certain it could also just be that they're grieving and the grief is keeping them from the full transformation that needs to happen when there is a death um and so there's a there's an open wound is it, it there's a there's a way for other things to get in it it needs to come to a close but it's an open door okay for them and so the what's going on is that the so they're experiencing this right that's that's something is there with that but then at the same time there's this aries energy the fool that's totally innocent totally pure totally unknowing totally just like you know, the fool, it's like with the beginning of the journey, you don't know, you're not jaded, you're not, you're not experienced. And so there's a certain level with this person that they're just, that it's not even naivete, because naivete would be knowing better and having lack of judgment. Innocence is just not knowing. There's an innocence with the fool that makes it a pure energy and makes it, it so it's, it's, so they're having, uh, I think they're like reverting back to this energy, the full energy, because they came to a standstill at, at number 13, at the, at the death. They, they're going back to this, okay? And they're choosing something here. There's some kind of, there could be a young person involved with this side of things. Um, someone also who's very fiery but it's it's this this is like I feel like this person's all over the place right now or a thing there's there's a lot of conflictual energy there's like an outer shell that 
is totally deflective and avoidant and also maybe even sneaky or dishonest. And it's like the underworld of that of this person or thing. And then there's this fool energy with the page of rods. It's like innocent, but also not really understanding itself. Okay, do you see how they're looking away from each other? It's like there's no, there's a lack of cohesiveness in, in the, it, their calling, in their purpose. Okay, they're, there's something where they're, they could be just wanting to face the truth and they're looking towards another direction. There's something that could be needing to be resolved and dealt with on their side of things. And uh, if they keep playing the fool, then they're going to end up in some form of quagmire, okay? Or maybe that's already happened and that's what's happened with you. But I do feel like there's more than one thing going on here and it's kind of confusing. You know, it's pretty straightforward with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the emperor in reverse. Again, Aries energy. It's just not uh, owning one's power, being disruptive with one's power. Okay, so we're at 16 minutes. Okay. What do the unicorns want to say to you, Aquarius, on your side of things? I feel like this other, yeah, let me focus on you. I, you make more sense to me than this other energy. That's just my opinion. I don't know. It makes more sense. Believe in yourself. See yourself doing well and you will. You've got to believe in yourself, Aquarius. You've got to. It's your time to, to again, reawaken to your ability and your power, which isn't Mars power. It's air power. It's outer space power. And it's power of, of energy and thought. It's not brute energy. And it's not, it's not as easily seen or appreciated. Okay, I get that. So you need to believe in yourself the way you believe in your best friend. Laughter. Doing things to bring joy into your life, whatever that means. Giving yourself a chance to, you know, be happy. Giving yourself a chance to be happy. No matter what's gone on, what's going on, or what you've done. Stop. Hey. That's enough. She is bathed and medicated, so don't even feel sorry for her. She needs to just stop that. Okay. You are gifted. You are very intelligent and talented, and that's what I'd want to tell you, Aquarius, is you are intelligent. You're very smart. You're more intelligent than... You're intelligent in a different way. You're inherently intelligent. Inherently intelligent. You have a lot more going on in there than, than you can express. And that's why you appreciate art so much. That's why you appreciate writing. And that's why you, because it, because it reflects the complexity within you. And you are gifted and talented. And, and I think that that reawakening to yourself, yeah, I think that this union, there's a union there, but it's at a standstill. It's either stagnant or it's just not happening. There's something that you were working on with this other side of things, but it's not going anywhere. The only way, the only place you're going is, is, is looking up to the sky and realizing your beauty. Let's see what's going on on their side. Love from your parents. Okay, so there could be parents involved. They could be a parent. This could be a parent of someone or someone's parent. But it's also them having parental issues, maybe from childhood. 
maybe they were deprived in some ways or maybe they were neglected maybe there's some wounds there or it could be that their parents are really involved in their life it could be that the love of their parents is what's gotten them through it could be that there's a there's a parent that you're having this experience with and something that you are trying to do with them isn't going to happen and so it's making you have to turn to yourself more maybe you are wanting to bring laughter into their life <clears throat> if you're their parent, kid or maybe your kid they're they're your kid and you're you're wanting to experience good experiences with your kid you know if we're looking at it that way because i do see young energy on this side of things love from your parents no matter what your mother and father loved you and love you as much as they can and and we can say as much as they can love is a triggering word for some people okay we'll just put it at that <clears throat> teamwork so this person i think is needing support um uh, and is experiencing maybe relying on other people um working with other people maybe they need to call upon their friends um or other people maybe they're wanting or feeling like teamwork would help them in some way or they want to be a part of something or maybe they really need to join something or or start doing something like that and you know step out of this confusion they're experiencing there's definitely avoidance of I feel like avoidance of repercussions avoidance of the actual outcome of things and so it's causing like a rift within them it's like either that or there's two people involved on this side that are both really kind of innocent or immature or they're like going around in circles and they're not there's definitely something not being dealt with okay it could be a parent that isn't facing some things about their parenting or it could be that uh, there's a kid that is afraid that they're going to get in trouble if they tell the truth. I could see that too. Okay, so I don't know which one it is. Simplicity. Put your energy into the basics and let go of excess. So this is interesting. Like I said, there's, a, there's kind of a lot going on on this side of things. I think the more that I, I feel the need for simplicity is like there because there's some confusion. There's healing going on maybe with the parents. I need more clarity here. Let's see what's going on. What's going on with this side of things? What is it? Yeah, nine of swords. Yeah. Like I said, I just feel like there's a repetitive kind of avoidance thing going on or guilt or fear or not wanting it to die or not wanting it to not wanting the consequence avoidance. And then but then not wanting to um, do wrong from an innocent place, but then turns into something else, something where there's even things that they're like, they're, there's like words being spoken that shouldn't be said. Or like gaslighting even like where there could be someone trying to like portray themselves differently than what they're feeling. But it's really causing a lot of stress, worry, impatience I feel. And so what's the simplicity? Yeah, I feel like the that that this this side of things really needs a simple answer so the wheel can turn. There needs to be a straightforward kind of approach to life for them or this this side of things, okay? So the wheel can turn. That simplicity is going to bring good fortune to that side of things, but it needs to get clarified. 
I say if this is a person you're dealing with, like a relationship, definitely let them deal with their stuff because they have a lot to figure out inside, okay? And they have support. They have friends. They have they have a team. They have a network. They have parents. You know, that's what I'm seeing. I think they, they're needing to heal some stuff within themselves. So they need to just do that, okay? Because they're going around in circles. And I, I feel like they have a lot to learn, okay? So that's what I feel. But I feel like that if they can go back to the basics and start focusing on those things within themselves, that, that there will be really good things coming to them, okay? Yeah, you're in a state of not knowing <clears throat> exactly what to choose, but you don't want that cup of love from them anymore. If it's a relationship, you're, you're really at a standstill. You're like not wanting it not interested. You're definitely contemplating it. It's not that you don't care, but you're done crying about it. And yeah, you're just kind of at a state of, yeah, you don't, you're not wanting to go over it and again and again, weighing out your options. And it's, there's no more like this or this or this or that, or how do I feel about this or how do I feel about that? It's like, no, it's just kind of, it's just kind of like, you're just, you're just standing still and you're letting yourself have your own feelings. And uh, from that, I see that the Three of Pentacles comes back around, but it's upright this time. So I think, yeah, you're going to come back to, you will be building and you will have um, something to work for and on. But for now, um, you got, you are, you're taking a step back. You're not working on this thing anymore. And spirit really wants you to believe in yourself, understand you're gifted, you are the star, and that let laughter and joy come into your life for yourself because it'll heal this kind of, just take a moment, sit by a tree, look at what God's offering you, consider what's being offered to you from this other side of things. And, and really, you know, I think really you're you're not you don't even need to go over it um about how you feel about it anymore it's really just taking a moment to start again and this time it's going to be more lucrative more satisfying more possible whatever it is you're going to choose to do from here on out okay yeah i'll do one more card for you for this situation and then we'll say goodbye, Aquarius. I hope this reading helps. I think really just, again, remember, you might feel like you don't have any options, but something's gonna come, okay? Something will come and, and you are good at being fickle. And at this time right now, I think you should be, I think, at this point, just let it sit and, but don't sit and wallow, like believe in yourself. Know that you can have confidence in your creations. Okay. Have confidence in your creations. Trust in the power of God, goddess divine. That creativity, which is being manifested through you. So God, goddess divine spirit manifests through your creativity through you so trust that it's something worth experiencing and doing and don't judge it based on another person or your own perceptions of whether or not it's valid because it's from spirit and it's coming through you that's that's good enough okay let it flow through you and and believe in yourself I think doing something that's going to bring laughter and joy to you will help you also, making a vision board. If you've never done that, do it. Um, do something that you can look at every day. It could be a, something you wrote or a drawing or a picture or a collage or anything. It could be on your phone. People make vision boards on their phones now. Like, they make collages on their phones or just a picture of something that you want. And, like, just, you know, focus on something else that you want, Okay. Trust in your power of creativity. Trust in you. Trust in the star. You are intelligent and very talented. Something with the spring. So, you know, 
things take time. It says your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. So gestation time, slowing it down inside, but also waking up. Waking up. Yes, Aquarius. I will leave it at that. You know I love you. And, um, you know, stay safe out there. And I will be doing Pisces next. So uh, tune in later. Thanks for subscribing and all that jazz. I always forget to say that. Love you. Clips Dawn signing out.